body. You hear that? What a pleasant sound. I could listen to it all day. That's a lute, an instrument well loved in Ku. Was beautiful. It's been too long since I've heard the melodies of a lute in the air. Far and wide, people speak of me in awe. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that. They call me Yomi of a Thousand Tones. Wow, what a name! I've traveled to every corner of this world, taking in my fill of its music along the way. I have a song for every occasion, every place, every person. <sighs> You've piqued my interest. Let's have one then. Gladly. Provided you have the coin. My thousand tones were mastered at great effort, after all. It... You have money, right, Hikari? <sighs> Will this do? Is this enough, Lady Yomi? This shall buy you a song. One that will fit you as well as your finest kimono. However... Hmm? I require time to make ready. Return to me tomorrow eve, and you shall have what you paid for. Ah! Behind every great show is hours of preparation. Just so. Now gird your hearts, for tomorrow they shall be moved as they never have been before. Welcome, welcome! My audience of two has arrived! Now, listen well, and be carried away by my thousand tones. Hmm? Something seems... different about her, doesn't it? Yes, it appears she's already spent our payment on those fine clothes. Alas, I must apologize, for I cannot carry you away just yet. I've come into a spot of trouble, you see. You have? Look here. The string of my loot has frayed. Without replacements, I fear... That our song will have to wait? Indeed. It is tantamount to asking a soldier to charge into battle with a broken sword. Oh. We wouldn't want that happening. If I recall, loot strings are made from the hair of a horse's tail, yes? Indeed. There is but one man nearby with the means to help. But he is not one to offer his aid lightly. He'll have no truck with a wanderer such as I. He scarcely acknowledges my existence. Reminds me of Papa. Then maybe you can help him see reason. Can I count on you? You don't need to ask. I'll see what I can do. Will 
this work, Yomi? Oh, I believe it will. This is finer than I could have imagined. I see you too can move the hearts of others. <laughs> you might be right about that. With this, I can craft a string worthy of my skill. However, I fear the moment is not ripe for such a performance. Pray come again tomorrow, and I promise that my melody shall lift you to the heavens. Somehow I'm not surprised. The weight will make the music sound all the sweeter. Be patient, Hikari. If you insist. You're generous with the benefit of the doubt, I see. We were looking for you. Do you ever stay in the same spot? My sincerest apologies for the trouble. However, I had no choice but to go where I could best drink in the beauty of tonight's moon. You're right. It's enchanting. I wanted its dulcet rays to alight upon my lute as I played your song. Tonight, I perform upon a stage like no other, with string and garb equal to the occasion. All thanks to you, my most honored audience of two. I hope this is worth the trouble. It will be. I assure you. Now, listen. I've never... I've never heard such a song before. I was moved, but somehow... I feel so... so sad. By the light of the heart, a favorite of mine. 
The clothes, the strings, the moon. And they must be just so. It is the only way to perform this song correctly. Yomi, why did you choose this song to play for us? I've heard it before. I had a friend who would often play the lute for me. She always struck warm tones to match the warmth in her heart. Her name was Tsuki. Was? But you played the song much differently than she did. You painted it with melancholy. Well then, our business is concluded. I shall take my leave. <laughs>